In this video, we will learn how to merge each PDF from a target SharePoint folder into a single master PDF document. Instead of implementing lots of independent get file content actions, as we've seen in prior file merging walkthroughs on this channel, we'll handle our entire walkthrough in a loop using Power Automate's apply to each control. We'll start by creating a manually triggered instant cloud flow. For reference, in this example flow, the folder we'll merge together contains five random example PDFs that have been used in prior videos. In the first part of our flow, we'll want to create a base PDF document to merge all the other PDFs with. We can do this dynamically with a file from our target folder without merging it redundantly. Before that, however, we'll first implement a scope control to contain our initial actions. This isn't strictly necessary, but it will help keep our flow looking organized when it's finished. Within our scope control, we'll start by implementing a get file metadata action from the SharePoint connector. We will use this action to get information about the first file in our target folder, or alternatively, whichever file we want to appear first in our merged PDF. Next, we'll implement a get file content action, and this action will use the ID from our metadata action to retrieve our base PDF file bytes. We'll next implement a create file action. Using the file bytes from our prior action, we'll create a new PDF file in a separate SharePoint folder. This new file is our official base PDF, and we'll name it something like master document for the purposes of this flow. We're now finished configuring our initial actions, so we'll close up our scope control and move on. In our next step, we'll implement the list folder action from the SharePoint connector. This action works a lot like the metadata action, but for entire folders instead of individual files. In here, we'll select the folder on our SharePoint site that contains all the PDFs we want to merge. We'll now implement our second get file content action. This action will consume the file identifier value from our list folder action. Once we select that identifier value, Power Automate will wrap our action in a for each control, which is the same thing as an apply to each control in the new flow designer. It does this automatically for us because the ID value from our list folder action is an array. Below this, we'll implement our third and final get file content action. This action will use the file ID generated by our earlier create file action to get the current version of our master PDF in each loop of the for each control. As we update the master PDF, the contents will change, and we need those contents present in our PDF merging action. Before we merge our PDFs, however, we'll first implement a condition control. This condition will check if the name of the file in our current for each loop is the name of the file we use to create the base PDF. We don't want the base file to appear twice in our final document, so we'll screen it out using name values from both our get file metadata and list folder actions. In the true branch of our condition, we'll now implement our PDF merging action. To find it, we'll first locate the CloudMersive Document Conversion Connector in the Power Automate library. We'll click See More to view the actions list. And from there, we'll locate an action called Merge Two PDF Files Together. After we select this action, we'll create our connection, which we can do for free with a free CloudMersive API key. Free API keys allow up to 800 API calls each month, and we can get one by registering a free account on the CloudMersive website. To configure our merge request correctly, we'll need to make sure we pass file contents we've retrieved as arguments in the correct order. The master PDF should always come first, and as we may recall, 
we got the updated version of that master file with the second get file content action in our for each loop. The current file from our target folder should come second, and that will come from the first get file content action in our for each loop. In both cases, the file names don't matter, so we can enter any values we want in those fields. To finish up our flow, we'll now implement an update file action from the SharePoint connector. This action will use the file identifier from our earlier create file action to update our master PDF document with each run of the for each loop. As our flow loops through each PDF in our target folder, the master PDF will continuously merge itself with each new set of file bytes. We'll now save this flow and run a test so we can see this in action. When our flow finishes running, we'll find a master PDF document in a separate SharePoint folder. The contents of this PDF will contain each file from our target folder in order. If we notice anything wrong at this stage, it's very likely that we did not place our file contents or file identifiers in the right spots, so we should go back and fix that now. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions for us after following along with this video, please feel free to contact a member of our team.